yeah, yeah. You know, I will, I will give my thoughts on what I think of that penalty and that final two plays, how the game ended here today. But unbelievable. You know, they jump out to a 20 to nothing lead the day. You know, you feel like, oh, you know, they just got the mojo today with the Jim Brown statue going in. How Jim Brown just now is getting a statue, that's just a whole nother discussion, I suppose. But they come out looking good early with McCown, uh, converting third downs, you know, several third down and longs, third seven, nine, eleven, converting them and then ending the drive with a touchdown pass on third and long to Corey Coleman going up seven to nothing. They get the ball back, although after allowing a big return to Devin Hester, Isaiah Crowell, you know, and the Browns get the ball back, and that's when he busts off his 85-yard run, putting the Browns up 14 to nothing. And then uh, Joe Hayden intercepts the ball, and it's looking like it's, it's going to be a potential route here. Corey Coleman, probably a better play than the long touchdown pass he had. He caught just a little screen pass, made one little move, and then was able to get into the end zone without a knee touching the ground, putting the Browns up 20 to nothing. You would think it would be 21 to nothing, right? That's our third touchdown, but no, this is when. This is when the Browns strike. They get the extra point blocked. Not only blocked, but the Ravens pick it up and run it back. Reminded me of last year's blocked field goal that was run back. Whole different scenario here, but it's 20 to two, and it's like, all right, you know, that's a little bit concerning there. You know, they gave up the return to Hester. They get an extra point blocked. They went on to miss a field goal later, so the, the, the special team still just not getting it done. But it's a 20 to two lead. The Ravens then get a touchdown, 20 to nine, sneak in a half time, uh, field goal right before halftime. McCown throws a horrible interception right before the half. Could have been 20 to nine, then it's 20 to 12 after the Ravens get the interception and the field goal. Just feeling like even though it's an eight point lead, you know, I've never been so disgusted with an eight point lead at halftime. It's 20 to 12 Cleveland. The Ravens come out, score a touchdown, making it look easy. It's 20 to 19. They potentially gonna go for two there to tie it up at 20. They choose not to probably believe in luck. Our scoring's not done. We might score 50 the way we're rolling right now. So it's 20 to 19. Although then the slowing scores down. Joe Hayden gets his second interception of the day. Cleveland just not able to get much going. McCown was pretty busted up. You know, when he looked good early on that first drive, <clears throat> it didn't take long. You know, hey, look, not that it's against the rules, but it appeared that Baltimore was like, look, let's get this guy out of here. Let's just see if we can, within the rules, take McCown out of the game get the rookie third stringer in there Kessler although he warmed up a few times throwing a few balls over there Kessler was it was not to be today McCown just never looked the same after early on in that first quarter although you know the Browns still hung on to a lead for a while the Ravens had a field goal had two field goals actually to make it 25 to 20 giving the Browns just enough time at the end you know sometimes you see this is what you see in the NFL it's like damn it the team with the ball last is going to win the game 25 to 20 the Browns are even moving the ball a little bit they complete a ball to Corey Coleman where he gets out of bounds making another good play to, although Corey Coleman had a had a horrible penalty on the day that caught you know potentially cost him some points but other than that you know he had a pretty good day out of the rookie made a nice play here and uh, after the Browns lost Cam Irving to an injury they were forced to use the final timeout Coleman buying him a lot of time making a making a nice play to get out of bounds then on the very next play, this is where things just get, it's like, come on, man, what's going on here? Well, something said, McCown completes a long ball, well, not that long of a ball, but completes a pass downfield to Terrell Pryor around the 10-yard line. Looks like it's going to be defensive holding. They're going to null it. They're going to say, no, no, no thanks on the penalty. We'll just take the ball first and 10 at the 10, first and goal, I suppose. Terrell Pryor looked, looked at me like he just tried to toss the ball back to the referee. You know, but he didn't. He tossed the ball toward the referee, and it hit the Ravens player, causing some other ref to throw a flag for taunting. So instead of it being first and goal, it was fucking, I don't know, whatever it was, second and 29, and then McCown throws another horrible interception. guess that's why he's Josh McCown, because sometimes he looks really good, and then he throws the interceptions like he did today, booking in each half. So 25-20, to 20, the march to 0-16 continues. That's two down. Eagles checked. Ravens checked. How many more teams are there named after birds they can lose to? All right. I'm F Zappa 20. Maybe next week.